She describes herself as a fish out of water, but most people call her the shark whisperer. Christina Zanato's passion for the ocean led her at the age of 22 to the Bahamas, where she learned to dive. 16 years later, she's still there, working for the Underwater Explorer Society, UNEXO, as a diving supervisor. The sea, the water, the ocean, the lake, the river's always been my passion. Maybe at, when, I moved, when I came here to learn how to scuba dive, that's when I decided I realized that it could be my life. She also teaches specialized shark feeding courses, technical diving, cave and cavern classes to local teenagers. Every year, around eight students start this three-year science program as part of their high school senior project. My first love about sharks, I was eight and I decided that one day I will grow up to swim with sharks. Using a little-known technique of caressing the markings and highly sensitive organs around the shark's head, she induces a kind of immobility. It looks like the shark is falling asleep. While it's in this state, the students are encouraged to feel and even kiss the shark's skin. She's gonna be down in the water with us. She gives us the um, satisfaction of her years of experience, knowing that she's gonna definitely be precautious with us. So it was really cool. She had us already calm. Now all of a sudden you have a flat jaw. And Christina's lessons continue on land. It's the skin that China. It is my biggest achievement, my biggest happiness that capability of being able to transfer how I see, how I feel to somebody else and know that that can be carried away, it is an amazing feeling. Oh, here. Christina was mentored here. by Ben Rose, a local legendary diver and explorer from whom she learned the art of shark feeding. She also shares his mission to teach youngsters respect for the sea. So many Bahamian kids, you know, uh, grow up and never even learn how to swim. And of course, I think that's probably the fault of the parents because they're, they're so afraid of water themselves that they instill that, that uh, fear in their kids. You know, so I think education is something that really will sort of improve that. The Bahamas is considered a shark haven with between 40 and 50 different species. Christina hopes that passing on her knowledge and passion for the sea will help preserve this paradise.